From our 27 News Capitol Bureau tonight, a leaked Supreme Court decision to overturn Roe v. Wade is raising the stakes for a battle over abortion rights here in Kansas. And now state leaders are weighing in. Our Capitol Bureau reporter Rebecca Chung is live at the State House. So, Rebecca, where do things stand as the state prepares for this monumental vote on the issue come August? Thank you, David. Well, a vote on the value of the both amendment in August will decide the future of what laws can be passed here. So right now, a bill virtually banning abortion has been introduced. And if this amendment passes, it could kick off the process for bills like this one to go through. Kansas Republicans are leading the push to limit abortion rights in the state, making their intentions known as a critical vote nears on the Value Them Both Amendment in August, a leaked Supreme Court opinion to overturn Roe versus Wade, giving them an added boost. Now top state Democrats are pushing back. There's nothing that hurts the Kansas economy more than really regressive policy. You know, the SCOTUS ruling, if it stands, is truly regressive, and I think Kansans and others will be paying attention. Right now, a bill virtually banning abortions in Kansas is sitting in committee. But if the value them both amendment passes, it would give Kansas lawmakers power to pass laws like this one that restrict abortions. Some arguing that fully outlawing the practice could be considered. They could pass a trigger law that said if the value them both amendment passes and Roe v. Wade is overturned, then abortion is illegal. Now, it's unclear whether a full ban on abortion is being considered in the future. Right now, I'm told that the main focus for the Republican Party is getting the value them both amendment passed, and that amendment will be on the August 2nd ballot. For now, reporting live at the Capitol, I'm Rebecca Chung. All right, Rebecca, we certainly appreciate that live update.